This Women's Health Care Month, we're focusing on the negative impacts pregnancy has on a woman's veins. In today's Your Healthy Family, I'm showing you how the problem isn't something that just goes away after a baby is born and what can be done to prevent it. Did you know women who are pregnant can have as much as 50% more blood in their body than people who aren't? Now add to that pressure in our pelvis, pushing down against those vessels, making it harder for that blood flow to return. Dr. Joseph Cipriano of Lumiere Cosmetic Vein Center in Cape Coral says this can have a damaging impact on a woman's veins. Everywhere from below the fetus down to your feet, involving you know, hemorrhoid development, varicose vein development, spider vein development. And what's called venous insufficiency or difficulty getting blood back to your heart from your legs. He says many women are put on bed rest during pregnancy because of this. But this problem doesn't just go away once the baby is born. The injury's been incurred, and now we're dealing with the aftermath, and you love to think that things will snap back and come back to just the way they were. He says to think of this like a water balloon. Once it's filled with water and stretched out, it can't just immediately bounce back to where it was before if the water's emptied. It's the same concept with your veins. That pressure is there and to remove that pressure we don't live in that kind of vacuum to allow all the tissue to revert back to what it was. Here's the thing though Dr. Cipriano says it takes a long time for you to even notice there's a problem. It's molars in the background and it's progressive like glacier movement. But then you'll know it. Do you get pain at night that wakes you up from sleep? Do you have to stand and bounce around a little bit in the middle of the night when you get up and have to go to the bathroom? When you're walking, do you have difficulties going the same distance as you could go a year or two years ago or five years ago? But he says the earlier the problem is identified, the easier the recovery. And there are ways to prevent this. You'll have a lot of the obstetricians, gynecologists talking to the patients, saying specifically positioning, posture, and comfort is important and remind them to lay on their side. He says this helps get the baby off a woman's inferior vena cava, a large blood vessel that carries deoxygenated blood from your legs and abdomen back to your heart. More time spent in a recumbent position when they're resting rather than sitting with their legs down because they need to get the baby up and off to the side just so that the blood can get back and not stay stuck in their legs. Also wearing compression socks. If there's a pressure here, we can alter or you meet with an equal and opposing force. You would say that you put pressure on your legs to help propel that blood up and out. He said OBGYNs often recommend them, but women don't understand just how important it is. If you knew 10 years later, if you wore compression stockings when you were pregnant, and it would keep you from having these veins and varicosities on your legs and these pains, obviously you would do it. But people don't associate the results 10 years later with the problems they're incurring now. But wearing the stockings while pregnant means not having an issue to fix years down the road. For your healthy family, I'm Lisa Greenberg. And for more information on the signs of venous insufficiency, head to foxfornow.com slash yourhealthyfamily.